Hey guys, Steph here, founder of Nourish, and today's video is all about how to drop weight the easy way. How to eat less. No, I'm just joking. Today is a vlog, a video log for my friend Chef Kim over at Food Intuition. So Chef Kim prepares meals and she has asked me to chat a little bit, do a vlog for her page. So what I'm going to talk about is the Get Nourished way of eating, our Nourish Reset meal pattern, which involves your biggest meal at lunch as well as a meal in the evening. So this is where Kim and Food Intuition can come into play if you hate cooking or you just don't want to be caught dead in the kitchen because we're going to eat whatever's in front of us. So today's video is all about little hacks, how to make your life easier. And all that it is, is setting yourself up for success, taking a little bit of time. It's not, no crazy meal prep every day or every Sunday. The Get Nourished way of eating is super simple. And how it goes is you wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. You wake up in the morning and you do something that's good. So a glass of water. To optimize that, you can add in some lemon. If you're worried about your teeth corroding, I know a lot of dentists don't like that. Use apple cider vinegar or just brush your teeth right after. Um, so something to start the digestive uh, juices flowing. Something before coffee. It doesn't mean you can't have coffee. It just means have a glass of water first or a herbal tea um, or even a green tea. Just something before your coffee. Um, you can even just chug a glass of water if that's what's good for you. Um, okay, so that's step one in the Get Nourished way of eating. Step number two is to have something super quick and easy in the morning because I know a lot of you guys don't want to eat breakfast. So a couple options. One option if you are a coffee lover is to actually just optimize your coffee by adding collagen powder, fat, coconut oil or MCT, ghee, grass-fed butter so that you're not just having that caffeine spike. You're actually adding fat to your coffee. We call this a fatty latte. So it's uh, branded as Bulletproof Coffee. Um, you can Google that if you want the exact recipe. You can add collagen to it. So all that you're doing is you're adding some fat to your coffee as well as some nutrients so that it's not just a caffeine spike. That's option number one. Option number two is to have a smoothie all ready to go because the last thing we want to do in the morning is to um, be loud with the blender or if we're rushing, the we're just going to grab, we all make it a priority to grab a coffee, right? Um, so if you're not into the Bulletproof coffee, then you can grab a bar. Um, I couldn't find one on the market that I loved, so I created my own line of bars. Um, I have Nourish bars, but you can easily uh, pick one up, a uh, good healthy one, and you can write in the comments the ingredients or a photo of it, and I can let you know what I think. If you want to grab Nourish bars, those are my favorite. They're full of just organic dates and nuts and full of fat, fiber, and protein to keep you full. Um, another quick option for the morning is grab an apple and a handful of almonds. Um, it doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be a big sit-down breakfast. And then, of course, in the Nourish Reset, I always offer the meal replacements because some people don't want to do any work and they just want to add water to a shaker cup. So that's a third option. Um, and some people actually like to intermittent fast until their biggest meal. So definitely have liquids if you're going to be doing that if you're not gonna be eating till 11 or 12, so have liquids um, throughout the morning. And if you wanna add some MCT or fat, go for it. Some of my clients also like to juice until noon, um, all these different options. So basically, we're talking about making it easy. You wanna make it easy on yourself so that you aren't um, just grabbing for whatever once you get hungry and creating a plan. So the next thing is actually a meal. I always suggest your largest meal midday. If all you can have is one meal a day that's structured, have it your midday meal. Do whatever you have to do to make this healthy. So many vegetables, um, if you eat meat, good quality meat. And this is where food intuition comes into play. If you don't want to cook or prepare meals, then buy meals from Kim for this middle meal. If you're going to eat nothing else in the day, do a middle meal midday um, so that you're not going home starving and binging and opening up the cupboards and raiding the cupboards. Um, the more you eat midday, the better off you will be for the afternoon and the evening. So if you're going to commit to one meal, if you can't do three, if it's too much work, do this noon meal. It doesn't have to be at noon, but your midday meal, your largest meal. Um, 
And then if you're into cooking, then of course you can cook your own meals and eat as much as you can from our Get Nourished Foods list, which is also in the group, the free support group. So these are all um, really good quality vegetables and if you eat meat or other types of protein if you don't eat meat and you're really just full, filling up on fiber, fat, protein, tons of veggies, produce and again if you don't want to cook, grab some stuff from Kim um, or bribe one of your coworkers to bring you lunch. Um, also there's some good to-go places that you can go to, Mediterranean places but basically you want a ton of veggies and fiber, fat, protein to stay full. So this meal, if it's big enough and it's got enough fat and everything, might actually hold you over till dinner. But if you need a snack in between, then again, grab a bar or a shake or um, a fruit with a handful of nuts. So the whole way, the Get Nourished way of eating is keep it simple because as soon as we complicate things or make you do all this prep, you're not gonna wanna do it or what happens on your super busy days, right? So in the afternoon, you may or may not need a snack depending on how much fat, fiber, protein you had in your lunch. Um, once I started to increase the fat in my diet, I actually was able to stay full for four hours. Before, when I was eating relatively lower fat, I'd have to eat every two hours and it was kind of, it was exhausting because it was a lot of food prep as well as it's kind of good to give your digestion a break instead of constantly having it working, working, working. Um... And if you want to learn more about that, just look up intermittent fasting or um, ask some questions in our community groups. Um, okay, so after that, if you have eaten enough on um, your midday lunch, it might actually tide you over till dinner. If you're starving when you get home, um, eat something right away. So have a shake or half a shake, half a bar while you're, or energy balls while you are prepping dinner. Because the last thing we want is you to be starving and raiding the bread cupboard and all the things that you'll gravitate towards when you're starving and you just want that quick energy. So meal, the evening meal is just as much for food prep. If you're gonna prep for the next day, make a huge portion, put some music on, enjoy it. If you hate meal prepping and you don't wanna be caught dead in the kitchen, again, this is where Kim's business can come into play. Order foods from her, bribe a coworker to bring you dinner, do whatever you gotta do to have a nice, healthy, light meal. This is really good for soups, for lighter meals, as well as if you love cooking, make massive amounts in the evening, but then only um, eat a smaller portion and then save it for your lunch the next day. Um, if you're starving when you get home from work, then you're going to want to insert a snack on your drive home or an afternoon uh, nourish bar or an afternoon um, shake or something because you don't want to be starving. That's going to get you hangry and raiding the cupboards and making bad decisions. So um, now we're at dinner, so that might be good. So if you are full with fiber, fat, protein in, in your evening meal, you might not need an uh, evening snack. But if you do, you can grab again a shake, half a smoothie. Um, I say half a smoothie because um, we generally pour so much stuff in and then they're like these huge smoothies. Um, or half a nourish bar, you can have your freezer full of energy balls, um, a spoonful of peanut butter, something if you're actually hungry. If you're not, you might not need an evening snack. Um, I'm big on evening routines, so that's where you can insert a tea, a sleepy time tea, um, creating your evening routine because just as much as eating healthy, it's habits. So if you are in the habit right now of sitting down, watching TV, eating chips, the best way to break that is just to insert a different habit. So right now it's cold outside. Maybe you don't want to walk, which is what we would do in the summertime. Maybe you want to foam roll or do some stretches, drink some tea, have an energy ball, have a healthy cookie, something that you're looking forward to and you know you can do. Um, so that's all. That's it. That is our Get Nourished um, way of eating. You can come join us. The link's in my bio to grab the free meal pattern. As well, if you want to grab some meals from Kim, you can hook, uh, hit her up. I'm going to link her up in my videos. And her business is Food Intuition. She's a nutrition expert as well as a chef. So it's perfect combination. She knows what's up. And she's all, why I love her and connected with her, she's all about good food. So an egg is not an egg. An egg it, from conventional does not give you the same nutrients as it would from the farmer's market. So that's why Kim and I get along and when you start to eat this way, you actually nourish your body and you're no longer starving. So if you're still starving and have a bunch of cravings, but you're eating a bunch of food and you don't know why, 
it might be that you're lacking nutrients. And that's really why we have cravings is because our body doesn't have what it needs. So our body doesn't say, hey, eat that carrot. It just says, feed me, feed me. I don't have what I need. Um, so you can see through my site, I'm a huge fan of supplements as well because our food supply sometimes isn't as nutrient rich as it used to be with the soil depleted or maybe we're rushing through life and not actually sitting down and eating meals. So that's what my business is all about is helping you be healthy on the go, on the run. And that's why Kim and I got along so well uh, because she actually makes meals for people. I have a snack line and supplement line and meal replacements and all of that to make your life easier. And I'm not about forcing you guys to create um, meals if you really don't want to be in the kitchen. You don't have to. There's other ways. Bribing coworkers or um, buying them from somebody. And if you're going to only do one solid meal a day, make sure it's that middle meal, um, most importantly. And you'll be good to go. So join us over the link in my bio. Um, I'll hook it up here too. I've got a free community group for weight loss, how to drop weight the easy way without counting calories, nourishing your body. And I've got all the sly ways of doing it, including my snack line and supplements. And if you really don't feel like cooking or you're, you have these super busy days, um, not to worry. I've got you covered. So come on over and I look forward to seeing you in there. We have a free community group called Get Nourished free community group as well. See you in there.